Ahem. Ahem. Are y'all ready for episode 62 of live stream? I can hear you. All right. Here it is. Here it is. Hey guys, it's all Jazz Hardy once again. I hope you guys enjoyed my voice impression of painting the pirate from SpongeBob. Yeah, welcome to my off topic stuff episode 62. In this episode, I'm going to do my my Mickey Mouse Clubhouse DVD collection, which is one of these D Disney Junior shows that I loved as a child. So yeah, these are all the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse DVDs that you have. I had Row Rally as a kid, but sadly I lost it. But I might get a new copy of Row Rally in the future. Here's volumes one through five with the blue pack. Here's volume one, which was released back in 2007 when Mickey Boss Clubhouse was brand new at the time. This is the 2009 front cover reprint from Disney Preschool. <coughs> and yes, guys, my great two friend, Lebron, should expect remembers the episode, Donald's Hiccups. <coughs> in a nutshell, that's Frosty Wish Studios, in a nutshell. They put these in the box. Here's the Christmas DVD, Mickey Save Santa. Even though we're now in Halloween, which I'm very excited for Halloween soon. It comes with the Little Lion Size Christmas episode, which I do have that episode on my Little Lion Size Christmas DVD. And yes, guys, I will get that DVD soon because I remember watching that show back then. My Friends Tickle and Pooh. I also watched this one as a kid. For the most part, for most part, along with Little Einstein's and Handy Manny. Even though I had this DVD with the original 2008 cover, but I'm glad I got the reprint, the reprint front cover, just for collection purposes. By the way, Halloween is in 11 days, which are very sad for Halloween, 11 days. <coughs> And yes, guys, I remember the Little Einstein's Halloween episode. I watched the episode back, back when I was a toddler. Back in the early 2010s. Even when I was a kid back in 2015, when I rewatched Little Einstein's. Here's, here's the orange pack. It comes with volumes 5 through 6 through 10. I'm not going to show all the DVDs because it will take ages. I might do it soon. Because I can't choose my mind. I'm gonna focus on doing something what's happening. Here's volume. <clears throat> here's my little Einstein's DVDs. Here's, here's volume one. The pack. The Christmas Wish, which I had a DVD since I was five years old. The Europe DVD and America DVD. I will get more volumes of the show in the future. I will get the Space Robot, Race for Space, and also I plan to get Flight of the Instrumental Music, Flight of the Instrument Fairies. Which, I, yeah, and it has the Rocket Soup episode where they want to give her to Rocket's grandma, which I watched the episode back in 20, back in 2015, I think. Back, this back when I, we watched some Little Einsteins back in summer 2015. Those were the days. <clears throat> uh. 
And yes, guys, I did have the little Einstein's rocket ship as a kid. I still have it to this day, which I can show you right now. <sighs> it is that's my little Einstein's toy. I got that back in Christmas 2009. Back in 2008, I got the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse set, and in 2009, I got the little Einstein's rocket ship, the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse Shulk with water on the road too. And I got the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse car with Mickey Mouse. And in 2009, I also got in 2009, I also got the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse race with Mickey and Pete. Pete, yeah. In the 2011, I did, and I did have the little, the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse cereal box, which is right here, which has Mickey, which is from Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, which I, I used to have, I used to use that thing a lot back in the early 2010s. Here's the skeleton for the, for my Halloween decorations at my basement. <clears throat> Which I very sad for Halloween in eleven days. By the way, in six days during Halloween, I'm going to to Polo Park to have the boo party Halloween with my Scooby Doo costume. Ah, oh. Teen Titans Go does not feel like the main star of Cartoon Network. I think the show is going to end soon because how bad the show was. But I think I move on from Teen Titans Go. But we done. They're doing hashtag renew Steven Universe. Everywhere. Here's a scene from Rio 2. Because I see... By the way, Rio 2 was still playing in some cinemas when I was with my cousin Charles with... The, being sitting down together in the chair, seeing the night stars back in July 2014, the day I, the day before I went to Nickelodeon for the very first time, on the year it first opened. Those were the days. I met Dora Boots, the monkey for Dora the Explorer, and Squidward, Patrick, and SpongeBob in 2014, and I went to the to all the rides at Nickelodeon. And yes, guys, that's actually my next film I get to see in cinemas. The Day the Earth Blew Up. That's my next film I'd seen in cinemas. And yes, I'll be seeing that film in cinemas on opening day. Because after all, when this movie comes out, I'll be in my Easter break. And yes, that's the next film I get to see in cinemas. After The White Robot, which I love The White Robot. That feels a masterpiece. <clears throat> By the way, the, what, this film is going to be my next film I'm going to see in cinemas. Even though Teen Titans Go is not as bad as Belma, I'm going to say this. Belma, no, I'm going to let me say this. I'm going to say this right now. Teen Titans Go is much better than Belma. Even though I hate Teen Titans Go, but Belma is much better. Bleed out, this was my reaction to the toys that I gave for Christmas. If you guys want white game for Christmas, I'm getting the Transformers One Optimus Prime toy. I guess I'm getting that because I'm a huge Transformers fan. I really love it. I'm I'm a huge fan of Transformers. I'll be getting this for Christmas, Optimus Prime for Transformers One. <coughs> Because after all, Transformers is awesome. I'll be getting this toy, the blue penguin, for Christmas, which I love that toy. It's so cute. Also, I'll be getting the Toro toy, the pink, the pink Toro. That would make sense since <clears throat> I think the Toro and the penguin will make a great couple and have a child, Toro. Joke, guys. And then the grandpa will be. An uh, animal. Yes. If you guys know what adopt animal I'm getting for Christmas, I'm getting the cutie rescue version. I want to get the dog. I want the dog to be the winner. If I got the cat or bunny, I'm okay with it. But I want to get the dog. I want the dog to be the one that will 
Wet, I want to wet the dog. Yeah. So I could make it my perfect pet. I'll be getting a pet for Christmas. I will call my dog. My, I, I will call my dog. I might call my dog me when I get the toy. I will call it. <laughs> call it. Call it. Call it. Uh, call it Mimi. That's right. I might call my dog Mimi. Mimi is a perfect name. If I get a cat, I might call it Sprinkles. I will call it Sprinkles. And if I get a body, I will call it. I will call it Snowflake. I will call my body Snowflake. If I want these three, that'll be the perfect day. Mimi will be my perfect day for my dog. That I'll be getting for Christmas, which is a plush toy, which is an adult animal. Which it takes twenty minutes to wash the dog, and then you clean up. Yeah, those are the toys I'm planning to get for Christmas in two months. Which I'm very excited to get them. It's gonna be great. And besides that, I'll be getting a couple DVDs for Christmas, and also a Toy Toy Five calendar. As well, <coughs> believe that this was my reaction to because after all, I love Looney Tunes. Looney Tunes was a big huge part of my childhood. Believe that I wish April comes faster. Reason why? Because I want to see this movie on opening day in cinemas. <coughs> that's my next film. And yes, that's my next film. I'm gonna see in cinemas the day the Earth blew up. <sighs> I love this movie so much. <clears throat> oh, remember this for Family Guy? The Hummer Guy. Ah, oh, dude, those animals. <coughs> those animals are so funny that it made me wanna. Yeah. <laughs> Believe that. If you guys want to watch show, I do watch recently. I do watch Smarty Friends recently. I might watch this soon. Sing thriller, even though I'm more a DreamWorks person, because after all, DreamWorks, oh, Family Guy is still popular to this day. Happy 25th anniversary, Family Guy! I'm very glad that Family Guy is still threaded better by Disney. Speaking of Disney, when one of the Twitter friends said, "I hate Disney," I was thinking. That they're talking about Disney as a corporation, as an evil incorporation. Disney Evil Incorporated. I gotta say this: Disney Parks, the Disney Film Studio, Walt Disney Animation, Pixar, and Disney Stores are way better than Disney as a business corporation. Yeah, you guys agree with me? Because Disney's films are so iconic. They need no introduction. They make really great classic films, mostly for the past, until the revival era, the first half of the revival era with Encanto. Sorry, guys, my camera's being blurry. There it is. There, there it is. There it is. <laughs> I'm very glad Disney threads Family Guy better. With merchandise and some commercials, like Sally Disney threats the Simpsons, like crap. That that must because the Simpsons is pretty much going to end very soon. Two to the actors getting older. <sighs> yeah, I think the Simpsons might end very soon, but the good thing is SpongeBob might continue a little bit for. Couple more years, because I think at least SpongeBob is not. The, at least, but yeah, I gotta say this. I think the recent SpongeBob episodes are ten thousand times better than season six through nine eight of SpongeBob. <clears throat> A lot of people mention that the SpongeBob seasons they hit is season ten and onwards. Have you seen season six through nine eight? That was a true downfall of the show. <laughs> Sorry, guys, it was. I was sorry, guys. I was got a message from my friend Nicholas Rivera, which is Brazilian. Back on saying, guys, 
And no, I don't want to talk about some of the YouTubers like that motherfucker who praises regular Shazim with a cyber moon like it's a gift for <gasps> takes out his wishes. I don't want to venture for a name because I want to pretend I'm pretending that this YouTuber is never on YouTube in the first place. Thank God I moved on from that awful YouTuber. Thank God I focus on better things because I don't want to mention that YouTuber at my channel ever again. I don't want to see her fucking channel. But yeah, I actually got a dream when I saw regular Shazim with Fan's channel. I said, so we need to gun this fucking hate board of the sound That's for the last time. But yeah, that was actually me with my dream. Thank God I don't see her channel anymore on YouTube because I want to pretend this YouTuber is not there anymore. But yeah, if you have never heard this YouTuber, do not go to her fucking channel. It's so bad. I recommend Lamb Rock Shakes back. I, I do recommend. Yeah, I fucking hate her. I never liked her content to begin with. I don't want to talk about that fucker ever again. I don't want to f talk about that stupid moron ever again. So, guys, anyways, if you. And, but yeah, I recommend Lamb. I think. I recommend Lamb Rock Shakes back and Creel Studios, which Creel Studios is awesome. I love the Creel Studios and Hunter Firestone. And Chat's 21 store, Chat's 21 store, it's amazing. I love Chat's 21 store. And Noah's Video Corner, my best friend Nikoda. Also, what else? Oh, yeah, I remember that. LME and Jeremy are much better YouTubers than this motherfucker. I'm not gonna mention his name and reveal my channel ever again because I don't wanna talk mention that. My, that my best one YouTuber ever again. And yeah, there's another YouTuber that I despise. This motherfucker. Fuck that asshole. Because she takes sound effects, which, seriously, which, what kind of world we're living? And thank fucking God, I blocked her new account on my channel. Because I don't want to see that motherfucking taking. The sound effect I use in my videos way too seriously. Like, it's just a fucking... Stop taking it too seriously. But yeah, I had the rights to use sound effects, whatever the fuck I... If you don't like one of these, then just ignore it and skip it. Instead of taking it way too seriously. And believe I fucking hate the hate arts on the character scare of these sounds by Lexi. So I fuck... I believe I saw hate art of that back in November 18, 2023, and I was fucking offended. I was like, oh my god, stop taking that sound way too seriously. And no, guys, I fucking hate that YouTuber. I fucking hate that bitch with a pretty passion. And no, guys, I'm not gonna mention that YouTuber on my videos. No, because they'll, he, she will definitely cyber bully me and harass me, and I will be freaking offended. <sighs> Thank God I blocked her new channel back in August on my, from my channel, which I see her fucking content ever again <coughs> and I swear to I believe I ah uh, let's me uh, and no I'm not gonna make fun of regular Sailor Moon fan or Lexi saw because I don't want to mention those motherfuckers on my channel ever again I don't want to talk about them ever again I don't want to mention them I'm not gonna make fun of them because I want to pretend these Assholes were not in social media and they're out of dead sense. I don't want to talk about them ever again. Ugh. Those YouTubers, I don't want to talk about anytime soon on my channel. And I don't want to see their fucking content soon because they were so bad. Besides, I fucking hate hate arts. Hate arts are fucking terrible. And no, and no, and no, I'm not going to do hate arts on my channel because... I don't want to take it too seriously because when you take a thing way too seriously, you're in big trouble. You can get in big trouble because they're not a creation from Satan. It's just a fucking thing. It's not like World War II. Yeah. <clears throat> this reminds me of Frozen Wish Studios threatening this big movie before like it's a creation from Hitler. Like it's just a fucking movie for the love of God. Like, stop taking it way too far. And also, I would imagine Lexi will bash opinions. 
because it gets what I won't see her fucking content because I don't want to see her bashing people's opinions. And besides, I hate opinion bashing. And let's, well, yeah, let's make fun of this abysmal YouTuber, which I found just as worse as these two fuckers that I don't want to mention on my channel again and pretend they are never existed. But Frozen Witch Studios is a YouTuber that I don't, I do want to make fun. <laughs> Fuck Troll 3 Troll Lord. Thank God I moved I ignoring him. Oh my god, who the hell cares? <clears throat> like family guy. Banan. By the way, five days we're getting banned on the last dance. The last dance. <clears throat> For payback? Joko fully a gets get an F. So cry about it, Frozen Witch Studios. Let's see this motherfucker. In fact, a part of the reason why I bully Illumination to get revenge that is, that does not work whatsoever. Like, it's fucking just a movie studio. And no, I'm not going to mention those YouTubers who take Starfest, which is seriously, which, which is seriously, which I'm going to pretend they're not on YouTube. By the way, the, <coughs> well, yeah, the commentary of me Master on the call out, yeah, it, it does, it believe a calling out for, for something just to use a sound. That is the stupidest way to call up someone. Besides, thank God I don't do call up videos anymore. <clears throat> and and yes, I despise AI. <clears throat> AI is fucking terrible. AI is awful. Thank God I never used AI in the first place. Thank God I grew up with the human art characters animation. <clears throat> and let's go to the upcoming films to cheer myself up. Which, oh God. And no, hey guys, if you have never heard of Let's See Sauce YouTube channel, don't you dare go to her channel because her content is hate boner, abysmal, cringe. Bleed out. <clears throat> I watched her fucking content back in 2023 and it fucking sucked. Don't go to her channel, guys. I recommend better YouTubers. Then this bitch. And no, don't you dare mention that YouTuber to my fucking face. Because I don't want to mention that YouTuber ever again on my channel. Because I want to pretend it never, it never existed. As a matter of fact, I'm going to pretend her new channel never existed. Which, I'm very glad she got terminated. And I'm just going to celebrate it. Bleed Lena, guys. I'm very sad for October 31st. It's Halloween. I gotta have a great Halloween in 2024. It's gonna be great. Bliad, Sunny Delta 3 is surprisingly coming in Christmas Day in my area. Reason why? <coughs> Bliad, I will imagine in December 27th or December 28th when I go to Alicante in Plathamar, there will be many people gonna see Sunny Delta 3. Which, holy shit, guys. <sighs> <sighs> uh. 
much better. And I'm very curious on the things of for revival coming soon. It's gonna be good. <clears throat> Let's Blee, I found two photos of me with my cousin my play on my Nintendo Switch and my room, which I'm gonna show you them right now. I was twelve years old. That was back in twenty eighteen. Back when I was twelve. My cousin was fourteen. And there are the pictures where me and my cousin are playing on the Nintendo Switch and the bedroom from my grandpa's country house and the bed, uh, doing one of the beds that we're that we're that we're that we're lying in the in the lying in the in the in the in the bed. Playing the Nintendo Switch together, and my mom took photos with me, which is right there. This is a great memory right there. Is it, guys? The show I do want to make fun of my channel is definitely Belma. I know I'm not gonna mention Belma on my channel. I fucking hate that show. I think, and I'm very glad it got canceled. And I'm gonna celebrate because it's fucking heartless. I'm very glad, my, I'm glad it got cancelled. <clears throat> Alright guys, we're gonna end it here guys. Thank you guys for watching, subscribe to my channel, like and share your friends, and stay tuned for more videos coming this week during Halloween. And until next time, happy Halloween week, next, starting tomorrow, and goodbye!